Right, hello everyone, to what is going to be a Skyrim uh, Let's Play. One thing I shall mention before um, this absolute crap show shall begin is that you will see blips and little cuts in between this uh, near one hour video. That's mostly because I'm streaming from my Xbox to my computer and there is some sort of like, and for some reason I have network issues. And so, yeah, that's why you'll be seeing it. So there'll be like little like audio glitches or visual glitches, maybe even audio and visual glitches. So, yeah, that's just for warning people. And now that's done, let's get back and start this crap show. Bethesda Game Studios presents... Dramatic pause. I can use RS to look around. Yes, the yes, this game which is just fantastic. The Elder Scrolls V. Skyrim. Is this just stuck on my screen? Oh no! Please don't tell me this is the I can use. Oh no! Oh, oh hello, hello everyone to my. Let's play of Skyrim. Got to set that. Hey, you. Hello. Finally awake. Hello, Rayloff. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. They hadn't Actually, let me just get the Oh no. You there. You and oh, me. Thought, I thought I took your voice there for a second. Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in vines now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Cloak, the true High King. Oh, what was that? Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? Helm? You're the leader of the rebellion. But if they captured you, oh gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know, they seem to have taken my feet. <laughs> but Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you? Oh, that is so freaky the way I do that. Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm. I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Yeah, unless you can't tell, uh, I do have several mods installed, which I will put in the description, so. Oh, this is gonna be hard. And frustrating. General Tully is the military governor, and it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. I mean, that elf seems to keep looking behind herself, so. Why do you keep staring at me? Yes? Oh, okay. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. I wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so sick. Who are they, Daddy? Where are they going? Let's go inside the Oh, Why are we stopping? and I imagine Why you can, uh... End of the line. And, and if you're wondering why my character's, well, like, camera... Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for I'm us. talking here, Rayloff. No, wait! We're not rebels! Ugh. Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We weren't with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. 
It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. Bye, Raylof. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Bye, Lokir. You can do it. You can do it, buddy. Ah. Feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. Yes. Who are you? Right. Let's go to the character creation. And uh, as I was saying earlier, if you're wondering why the camera was so tall, um, it's because I've added a um, half giant race. Problem is the camera doesn't follow with the third person. So you're always like the normal height. So I actually added a mod which increases the height of the first person camera like by like 30%. So, yeah. Right. I like that. My hands aren't even bound. And the horse is still there. Hmm. Might have to increase the sound a bit. Okay, that seems to be a little bit better. Sorry about that. Alright. And I think through the power of editing, I shall... Uh, have a fully awesome, fully awesome character. Uh, back in a moment. Mm-hmm. Wait. Oh no. Nah, not bad. Anime. 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 These are the you put a lot of animes in this mod. There's just one I feel like works. And that's this one. Now, facial hair. Need a good beard. Yep, there you go.
Ugh, damn it. Okay. I feel like this works. I look like a PS1 character. Yeah, screw it. Now, my character, this half giant who looks like that, like some badass warrior, actually, hang on. Yeah, there you go. So, this badass, what, like half giant who looks like something out of a DD &D session I made up shall be called Morris. Hang on. Better one. Mr. Morris. You picked a bad time to come home to Skyrim, Kinsman. Captain, what should we do? It's not on the list. Sorry, <laughs> it's the soul. It's just randomly there. By orders, Captain. I'm sorry. At least you'll die here in your homeland. You're very mean, horse. Hey, look at me. Look at me when I'm just. Look at me when. Look at me when you're talking to me. Hey, I wasn't done. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero. Why is Rayloff smiling? <laughs> he looks like that um Photoshop thing, where it's just the uh, lips are just like unnaturally drawn up. And now the Empire is going to put you down. And restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the eight divines upon you. For the love of Talos, the shut up and, and let's get this over. As you <laughs> wish. Oh, God, if only you just waited a little bit longer. Oh, I haven't got all morning. Ah, uh, poor, poor bastard. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Do you say the same? I swear I heard shouting it like then. As fearless in death as he was in life. Pretty, pretty dumb. <laughs> I wonder who that is. There it is again. Did you hear that? I said next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. Jeez, what have I done? Oh Christ, I walked very quickly. I mean it's the giant legs. What in oblivion is that? It's a wyvern. What do you see? No, it's a waven. I'm probably saying that so wrong. Jesus, it's like hell on earth. It's the fact that the ki that the actual like guardsman, like the executioner, just like died before anything else. I like, can just like. I had a heart attack. What is that thing? Could the legends be true? Legends don't burn down villages. 
We need, need to, to move, move now. now. Up through the tower. Let's go. All right, come on, Rayloff. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, ow. Alduin jump jump scared me so bad it lagged my game. Oh jeez, where is he? See the inn on the other side. Holy hell. The roof and keep going. So he got a backflip. We'll we so he just backflipped over that. Just jumped on and just jumped on the roof. Hammond, you need to get over here. Now Gotta love mods. Still alive, prisoner? Keep close to me if you want to stay that way. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. Gods guide you, Hadvar. Okay, I will admit that would not block it in a normal game. Like in the normal gameplay, that would not stop it. Did I just see an arrowhead in Alduin's tooth? Ah, oh, not poor V Lord. It's you and me, prisoner. Stay close. Yeah, keep calling me prisoner. See where that gets you. I have a name, and it is Mr. Morris. Raylaw, you damn traitor! Out of my way! We're escaping, Hadvar. You're not stopping us this time. Fine. I hope that dragon takes you all to Sovereign Guard. Die, Try you! Die. Come on! Into the deep. Into the deep. <laughs> Quick! Come on! Because inside the key. Right. Against the guy who's actually nice to me, or guy who keeps calling me prisoner. Where are you going? Come on, Eric's is still here. Yeah, not not with the guy who keeps calling me prisoner. Excuse you. Oh no. We'll meet again in Solemngard, brother. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon. Really? No doubt. <laughs> Just like the children's stories and the legends. The harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. I'm gonna trust you, mate. <laughs> you have credible eyes. There you go. You may as well take gun your gear. He won't be needing it anymore. Now I am playing on legendary, which I have never done before. I'm going to see if I can find some way out of here. Ah, this one's locked. Let's see about that gate. I do love how I've scaled up the character so the weapon scales up with me. This should be tiny in my hands, but thanks to the power of modding, it now works. Oh, here we go. Come on, Imperials, keep moving. Take cover. Get this gate open. Why do you have a bow and arrow out? Oh, this is gonna suck hard. Oh. Rayloff, little help here. Oh, whoa. Nothing. 
Come on. Jeez, how many hits are you taking? Holy hell. Ugh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. How tough is this wo how tough is this woman? Jeez, I've leveled up. Oh my god. Jesus. Maybe one of these Imperials had the key. The key? Actually. It unlocks that door. Excuse me, Rayloff. I need to pimp myself out, thank you. Look at me. But, come on, let's get out of here before the dragon brings the whole tower down on our heads. Whoops. Just accidentally clicked that. Damn, that dragon doesn't give up easy. Nope. Grab everything important and let's move. Dragon's burning everything to the ground. I just need to gather some more potions. Oh hello. Oh. Hello. Actually no, I don't need I don't need uh magic. That's not gonna do anything on legendary. Oh hear me so hard I'm lagging already. Oh Jesus, Rayloff! A storeroom. Just took that guy out. See if you can find any potions. We'll need them. Holy hell! Okay, Rayloff. Yep. Guy playing. Let's get moving. Yes, Rayloff. Let's go. Jeez, I've played this through so many times. It's taking me so hard to just not skip through everything. Come on. And I level up already, holy hell. <laughs> Must have run off. No, I haven't seen him since the dragon showed up. Oh, let's have read. Uh, I'll probably read that later. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cave. Yes, a shield. Uh, it's locked. See if you... And another book. I'll be reading that later. And another book. Ooh. Sorry. Yes. Sorry, that Rayloff. What was that? Hmm? Oh, oh yeah, lick pock. Lick pocking? Yes, lick pocking. Lock picking, I meant. Lick pocking. Jeez. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, I will admit, I will admit, uh, the mods I have put on here are sort of like making me a bit cheating. Though I think the um, addition of like legendary difficulty sort of like balances that balances that out.
Now that's a shot. Oh yeah, I forgot to add a um, iron shield on. Actually, let's level up first. Right, yeah, so half giants have 250 health and 250 stamina. So, yeah. Um, right. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, um, right. I think at the moment health might be good because I'm not sure if I want to go into magic. Because, I mean, magic um, is very, very powerful, especially if you continue doing that later on. So, hmm. Ah, da, 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 da. Hang on. Wait. Yep, back. Hang on. Um, hmm. I think, I think try and get health and stamina to 300 might be good. So that's to level 10, then I think um, focus on Magicka as soon as I get them to 300. Orders are to wait until General Tullius arrives. Oh. I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon. We need to fall back. Just give the general some time. Filthy Imperial milk drinkers, let's go. Jeez, I'm getting hit. Ow. Oh, Jesus, they came out of left field, and I think I got hit by one. Jesus is just ganging up on the poor guy. Oh, um... Damn it, I wanted to do flames, but... Uh, guess not. I think I'll be taking the arrows. I'll keep watching the Zulfri comes through here. Tell us guide the boat to me. All right, and Rayloff, come on. Oh, a torch. Come on, Rayloff. Let's see where this goes. Okay, pathfinding. Thank you. <laughs> I love how there's an animation that I don't think you have. Like, as a player. But it's like there for like NPCs and crap. Better push on. The rest of oh, have to find wasn't... another way out. I swear there was like some something down here. Yeah, I think there was. Oh, it's just a skeleton. I mean gold's gold. Yay, found it. Secret unlocked. Oh, hello. Uh, more money. That doesn't go anywhere. No, it does not. Yes, we'd better try this way. Oh no. Um, Rayloff, can you do this bit, please? Uh, Rayloff. Uh, I'll just be back here. Okay, neat. Uh, why are you not a... 
You can do it, Rayloth. Yeah, we did it, Rayloth. Oh. No, it's it's the legs for me. Don't that and the eyes. Uh, well, more the everything really. God, why do they exist? Wait, I I am on um. Legendary, aren't I? Yeah, okay. Hold up. There's a bear just ahead. I see money. See her? I'd rather not tangle with her right now. Let's try to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow. And watch where you step. Or if you're feeling lucky. Can take this bow. Might take her by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. Hmm. Stealth or no? Stealth or no? Stealth or no? Not stealth it is! I did not touch it. Actually, to be honest, I should have had my shield out because I want to get like my blocking up. Is there like nothing here? Oh, but uh. That looks like the way out. I knew we'd make it. Sweet freedom. Sweet freedom. Wait. Bye, Alderwin. Bye. <laughs> Please save and reload new content detected. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No. Ugh. To know if anyone. Let me just do this quick. When sneaking, if your eye is partially open, someone is searching for you. If it's fully open, they have found you. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. I think I'm sticking with you, though, my friend. Alright. Yeah, I do have uh, several mods, like I said, they're going to be in here. So. I think as soon as I get to Riverwood, I'm going to just... I should have done these beforehand, actually.
Hmm. All right. Do, 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 do. Ooh, butterfly. You know, you should go to Windhelm and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's Ulfric. Oh, uh, rain check? Because I'm actually going to be a while before that ever happens. Ooh. And it's raining. Very loud, rain. I swear if it thunders again. See that ruin up there? Bleak Falls Valley. Never understood how my sister could stand. I saw you just there. I guess you get used to it. Jeez. Because uh, the problem is, I've never actually properly played like modded Skyrim. It's like the modding bit is always like the best part of modding. But actually playing the modded thing is just ugh. These are the guardian stones. Three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead. See for yourself. Uh, I do have another mod here, which is albeit cheating, but um Thiefstone I think stick to like full warrior. Yeah, so the three standing stones here are to 100%, not 20, I think, like it was before. I'll probably switch to mage as soon as I'm, like, level 10. I think I just heard wolves. There's normally a wolf attack right about now. And for some reason, the actual, like, thunder... Rayloff, I'm talking. We're almost to the thing is that, um, the thunder in this, for some reason, sounds legit like, um... Like, a shout just happened. Like, there. Like, it's clear skies. The clear s skies shout. I don't remember, like, the three words for it, but... dog. Bye, dog. How do you not see us walking up? And like, how do I not recognize Rayloff? You're not even looking at me. Not the comrade yet. Friend. I owe him my life. Is there somewhere we can talk? There's a telling when the news from Helgen has reached the Imperials. Helgen? Has something happened? You're right. Follow me. Hod, come here a minute. I need mm. your help with something. What is it, woman? Sven, run from the town again? God damn it, Sven. Just come here. Raylo, what are you doing here? I'll be right down. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know why this is here because of the bloody rain. It sort of drowns every everything out. <laughs> Especially the lightning and the thunder. Uncle Rayla, can I see your axe? How many heroes you killed? Do you really know all 
I think I'm going to have to put the uh, voices up. Hush, Frodnar. This is no time for your games. Go and watch the south road. Come find us if you see any Imperial soldiers coming. Aw, Mama. I want to stay and talk with Uncle Rayla. Mind your mother, boy. Look at you. Almost a grown man. Won't be long before you'll be joining the fight. What the f That's right. Don't worry, Uncle Rayla. I won't let those soldiers do that on you. What the hell was that? I just saw like a lightning bolt just strike right here. So there's a bucket there, and this basket just flew over the uh, mill. Holy hell! The news you heard about Alfred was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing, like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was two days ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. I was lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. They wouldn't dare give over a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. Oh, yes, isn't it's bad, Rayloff. Out of nowhere, a dragon attacked. You don't mean a real live. I can hardly believe it myself. And I was there. I'm getting I'm jumpy from these lightning bolts. You'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we this thunder and lightning is going to put me on edge. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Jerry, but... Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need. Let me worry about the Imperials. Any friend of Raylos is a friend of mine. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. Um, oh, thank you, Gerda. Wine? Yes. Bread, butter, carrots, cheese. Thank you, Gerda. There is something you could do for me. For all of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Thanks, sister. I knew we could count. I ought to get back to work before I missed. What the f? Anyone else? I was close. It's right there. Sure he made it out. It will take more than a dragon to stop Alfred's door. I mean, it's nice, but can we go inside, please? And, you know, show them where everything is. Hmm. Help them drink up our meal, you mean. Good luck, brother. I'll see you later. Don't worry about me. I know how to lay low. Uh... Right, I guess we're like free to explore now? Uh, hang on. I'm glad to help any way I can. How do you get to White Room from here? Cross the river and then head north. You'll see White Run on its hill as you pass the falls. Thank you. Uh, what can you tell me about the Jarl? Jarl Balgruf? Jarl Balgruf? I don't mean to be disrespectful as he's ruled White Run hold well for years, but he seems in over his head now. He's been trying to stay out of the war, but it can't last. He's going to have to pick a side. I'm afraid he's going to make the wrong choice. Why? Is he loyal to the Empire? I wouldn't say that. But he and Ulfric have been at odds for years, and I'm afraid Balgruf will end up siding with the Empire because of it. But it's hard to believe that even Balgruf would choose Elisif over Ulfric. You support the Stormcloaks, then? Of course. Ulfric's cause is just. It's time for Skyrim to rid itself of the Empire. The Empire may have been good for Skyrim once upon a time, but those days are long past. Banning the worship of Talos was the last straw. Thalmor everywhere! Dragging people off for honoring our own gods. I'm glad Raylof is helping drive them out of here. If I was a bit younger, I might have joined the fight myself. Uh, who's Elisif? I suppose she's Jarl Elisif now. She married High King Turig just before Ulfric killed him. The Empire supports her claim to be High Queen. I don't really have anything against her. Not her fault that her husband Turig was bought and paid for by the Empire. But she's nothing but a puppet for the Empire now. 
with her husband Turig dead. Ulfric will make sure she never takes the throne as High Queen. Ulfric killed the High King? Some say murdered, but it was a lawful challenge in the old way. Ulfric called him out as a traitor to Skyrim and killed him in single combat. If Tori couldn't defend his throne, he had no business being High King. Uh, this is like this, this is like uh, reading a Reddit page. <laughs> just like if Ulfric was right. Uh, I, I, am, I am just reimagining the Reddit comments. Or, uh, or any like forum page of if Ul if Ulfric was right or something. So there's no High King now? No, not until the Moot meets to choose another. And it won't meet until one side or the other wins the war. Don't worry though. Ulfric is our rightful High King. He'll drive out the Empire and Skyrim will have peace at last. Um... What can you tell me about Riverwood? It's my mill. Some folks think it's my town too, but it ain't. The Jarl in Whiterun owns the land and the town. I just pay the taxes. I missed that. Um, what can you tell me about Riverwood? Sorry, I had to check my phone. It's my mill. Some folks think it's my town too, but it ain't. The Jarl in Whiterun owns the land and the town. I just pay the taxes. Okay, then. Uh, do you have any... I, wait, isn't this the... Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. Help yourself to whatever you need within reason. Okay. Uh, is there somewhere I can buy fresh supplies? And by supplies, I suppose you mean weapons and armor? Yes. Alvor can help you out. He's our blacksmith. Okay, thank you, Gerda. Until next time. Um, I think I'm gonna try and... Because Gerda gave me a key to her house. I think this was it. Hard on Gerda's house, yeah. Right, uh, I'm gonna try and sleep. Uh, it's 6.39, let's get a good, uh, 12 hour rest. Ugh. I feel rested. Actually, hang on. Wasn't there? I th I'm not sure if any of the mods I actually installed. Something about you putting bugs in the stew over at the Sleeping Giant. Do you do this? Sure, I did, and I'd do it again. Ah, I knew it. Had your name written all over it. Gotta can teleport. <laughs> you just wait. My new pranks are going to be the best ever. You'll see. <laughs> Jesus, his fake laugh's worse than my fake laugh. So you saw a dragon, did you? Tell me, what was it like? As big as a house? Dude, if you want to talk, come here. Um, I really don't want to talk about it. Much bigger than that, as big as the inn. Maybe you'll see, your, see one yourself soon. I had trouble reading that. Helgen isn't that far from here. Um, much bigger than that, as big as the inn. Well, I'll be. That'd be a sight to see. Uh, not that I actually want to see one, understand. <laughs> I hope that dragon stays far away from here. Uh-huh. Let's talk to Rayloth. If I can sit in the chair. I told you my sister would help us out. Uh, how do I get to White Room? Oh, I've already talked to Gerda about that, uh. You really think I should join up with Ulfric Stormclug? Damn right. Just like all true sons of Skyrim should. You should come to Windhelm with me and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. 
If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's Ulfric. Do you think Ulfric knows where that dragon came from? Well, maybe not. Dragons haven't been seen in Skyrim for an age or more. But wherever that dragon came from, and whatever it wants, Ulfric will get to the bottom of it. You can count on that. Besides, you have your own score to settle with the Empire now. And with that dragon. I'll have to think about it. Yeah, sure, I understand. No need to decide now. But I know that after you think about what you saw today, you'll realize that Skyrim deserves to be free. Hmm. <laughs> D dramatic standing up. The War of Stone Abyss lets you learn combat skills more quickly. Hmm. Jeez, if only you could wield uh, a two-handed axe and a shield at the same time, that'd be grand. Accessible power attack has a chance to stagger an opponent who is not blocking. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right. I need to go sell stuff. Oh, you stuck. Uh, Sigrid. Uh, Alva, I think she's stuck in place. Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. What have you got for sale? Blades, helmets. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. Right, let's sell some stuff. Uh, uh. Oh no, crap. No way, hang on, never mind. The ice dagger rub chills. I, I always found that stupid, just the, the iron dagger of chills. Just makes me laugh every time. Well, not laugh, but... Hmm. High boots are resist shock of minor magicka. Giant boots of minor stamina. Good day. Oh, okay. okay. Apparently, the women in this town can teleport. Well, village, but whatever. Didn't know uh, the women of Riverwood can teleport now. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to... You already that. greeted me. Okay. Yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. What have you got for sale? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Foot wraps. Uh, silver ring. I'll probably keep the poison. I'll keep the food. Uh, I'll keep the books, obviously. A hooded fur scarf. A huge knapsack. I'll, I'll probably n you need that later. Minor wielding, resist magic. I'll probably I'll probably need that resist magic later on. Minor archery. Boys do fifty percent damage. Sneaking is fifteen percent better. 
thing is the fur clo the cloaks don't actually do like anything gameplay wise except for like looking cool how much is the huge knapsack 155 uh, I don't really need it what's this oak flesh uh, 500 Damn, the Riverwood Trader is it? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. So, really isn't like. I think for now, hold off on the knapsack. Potions, I'm probably going to need a lot more health. I better get back to cleaning the store. Oh, hang on. What a mess. My sister Camilla or I will be happy to help you. Did something happen? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break in. But we, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. I could help you get the claw back. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northwest of town. So this is your plan, nope. Lucan? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Uh, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. Oh, boy. Sibling rivalry. The fact is, the extra hair, like, on the horse, like, around, like, at the side of its mouth and, like, on its belly, as you can see, like, th through the hair. Though, I think that's just a bit about this game. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Well, I can't. It's kind of foggy. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Jelly bean? You're called jelly bean? Oh, okay. Well. Oh, I mean, I can't judge an owner by the name. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. I, I mean, I actually had a cat. I was called Mawam after the uh, sweet. Quite explained where he got it. Oh, sorry, Camilla. I'm still wearing Imperial armor as well, so going to be kind of awkward. Yeah, it's kind of quaint, this, actually. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Bye, Camilla. Yes, Camilla? Bye. He's still staring. Oh, thank God for that. Right, um... Yeah, it's just... Okay. There's just a random guy here? This unlucky Avenger must have fought off some bandits, only his horse was left. Uh, sorry, unlucky adventurer. Oh, so I did So 
So do I get peanut butter now? I guess I get peanut butter. Okay, and I think on that note, um, I think I'm going to end today's video here. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, thank you for enjoying um, Skyrim. And I will be continuing the adventures of Mr. Morris in the near future. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos of Mr. Morris. And yeah, see ya.